handling outliers how do you handle outliers so box plot is the best way to visualize outliers isn't it yes or you can convert into z score notation and see values which are greater than 4 or 3 you can decide okay greater than 3 generally is treated but say okay i will treat values more than more than 4 as outliers then you can okay you can actually remove them or treat them just like your missing values right see outliers may not be able to perform or it will have again biased uh, this thing so you can replace missing values just like you would replace a sorry replace outlier just like you would replace a missing value well, yeah okay. right but you should know that first of all you should know that there is outlier and you can decide to keep it or not maybe if it is 3.59 So okay, let it be there. Why should we, you know, disturb? But if it is like minus six or plus six, okay, five. That means that definitely it's a big outlier. Take it okay. off. So, yes. Okay, and yes. you can find Z score. Z score. That's what right. So Z score. Okay, and you can. This is how we ignore. We say that if you know. If the values is q one minus, so here what we do generally is, and this is done when you have lot of values, okay, many values. I want to find the average of all the IT companies in the okay. So at so every company, right, finance, okay, they'll have their profit, revenue, right, margins, profit margin, okay. So profit margin there are various terms like. Gross margin, you know, operating margin, etc., etc. Okay, you don't have to, you don't have to worry about all this. What I'm saying is, let's say I want to find what was the gross margin of all the IT companies last year. I want to see how IT company is doing on their margins for last five years, for example. How IT companies, big and small, all combined. Okay, big, small, medium, all. Okay. So I need the financial data of all the IT companies for last five years, correct? And what I will do, I will take average of the gross margin of all the companies. So there will be some very good performing, very bad performing. Average will be we get the average. So you know, let's say we have uh, we have some short list of thirty thousand companies around the world. So you got thirty thousand companies. Now I'm going to re read the. Let's say this is twenty twenty two. Twenty two is still going on, right? Okay, twenty twenty one. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen, okay, seventeen. So one, two, three, four, five. Right? And let's say we get sixteen also. So we have we have taken all the thirty thousand. Okay, maybe here you have thirty five thousand. Here you only twenty nine thousand, thirty thousand. Possible, right? You, you, the companies may not be there. Some companies may have been created. Some are closed. Whatever. So you you have the data of all the IT companies of. Twenty-one twenty. So you know you can take the average of all the values. Okay, you take the average, and let's say average was here twenty-two percent. Seventeen became twenty-four percent. Eighteen became twenty-five percent. Nineteen, let's say twenty-seven percent. Then again, here it came down to twenty-four percent. Let's say now it is twenty-two percent. So now you see. It increased from twenty-two to twenty-five to twenty-seven, and then started decreasing again. Right. So what you can say is that you know IT industry is probably going into recession if you get these numbers. Right. I mean this is what analysts will do. Right. They'll take their companies, their list of companies. They'll take the average values every year and compare with last year. What was the you know margin this year versus last year? If margin has increased, that means companies are doing good. Industry is doing good. Right. Not specific company. Some some company will uh, you know make money uh, even in the bad times, right? Zoom has made lot more money in the bad times, right? <laughs> But It's most of companies have. <laughs> yes. So so it it matters. But we, we we cannot take just one company and say that no, IT industry has grown ten times, okay, in last two years. No. So you have to take average of all, okay. So this is the process you'd follow. But problem is, okay. When you're taking global companies, right? There could be some company which have got three hundred percent loss for some reason. May not be the industry specific. Could be 
management fail or something happened or uh, you know something got closed or what maybe right multiple things so company got 300% um, uh, negative okay then company could show 600% growth or 6000% growth now this could be <coughs> one second so um, okay now this could be real number i mean come maybe the company did actually grow 6000 times or it could be even error also right now if it is if i'm talking about this specific in the company then i need to understand what happened why it happened right okay so now um, we want to make sure that okay these outliers could be true or maybe out maybe wrong okay but these outliers should not disturb our average so in such case what we do is we say okay we will divide this data set into four quarters right that means if you have 30000 companies you will have 7500 in this quarter 7500 here 7500 here 7500 here right and i will take just middle to q2 minus q1 you can decide or i will take half of this and half of this i will leave out three and a half thousand here three and a half thousand here and you can decide okay that i will take only 90 percent of the companies i will leave out five percent on both the ends now it doesn't mean that all five percent are outliers okay could outliers could be one percent or ten percent also we don't know right but definitely it never be ten percent it will be probably somewhere around two percent five percent okay now if you are talking, you know, because I'm talking about the industry average, okay, excluding or including five or 10 or 50 companies will not have a big impact when I'm talking about 30,000. And if I take five companies extra, it's not going to have a big impact. Okay. So instead what I'll do, I'll try to clean the data. I'll say that I don't want to get into, uh, you know, now see thing is you can have counterpoints saying that, okay, this company is also part of. Uh, uh, industry it has gone six thousand percent why should you not include it okay the thing is we doubt we don't know if it is true or not now we can't get, get into five thousand ten thousand companies and see values are real or not right instead we'll say okay let me remove ten percent from all the years okay from all the years i'm removing so so it's like this even if you're removing good data you have removed good data from all the years so ultimately we are trying to do on the what you call as uh, you know we say compare apple to apple right so ultimately we want to make sure the data is similar in nature right okay if you are removing 10 percent of course maybe five percent is outliers you're removing five good data okay so i'm removing five percent good data from all the years all right so you know so assume assuming your assumption is that okay whatever plus okay maybe 22 may not be a real number maybe actually it is 23 percent okay fine i don't care because if i'm losing one percent here and if i follow the same process i'll be losing one percent everywhere so the trend will not have any impact all right trend will not have because as an industry analyst i'm just looking at the trend I, mean, I don't want to get into each company so trend is that okay, it is increasing okay so, you know, so this here uh, in the book, what I've done here, I'm saying 1Q minus 1.5 into IQR. IQR is Q2 minus uh, Q3 minus Q2, right? The middle 50%. You're okay, living on 25, 25. So I'm now saying 1.5 times. One time will be 50%. 1.5 times is 75%. Okay. So Q1 minus 75% of the data, which is, you know, you're removing 25%. So I'm looking at numbers which are between one and a half times of IQR, okay? So as I said, right, this is your, you know, uh, okay, so this is your IQR, one and a half times, one and a half times both the sides. So this becomes your, so I'm interested in this data. I don't want this one, I'm ignoring. So you can choose based on percentage. You can choose based on Z score also. I don't want values more than minus three or 
plus 3, less than minus 3 or more than plus 3. I want something in between, right? You can do that and you can remove. So here, this is example where I'm leaving out data, which is on the other uh, end. And here I'm leaving out the data, which is less than, okay, or, okay. So I'm selecting the data here, right? Selecting which is less than, uh, less than three, okay? So you can choose whichever technique you want to do. So this is how we handle outliers. We'll take a data set and we'll do that. Here we're talking about <coughs> different step, okay?